Hi everybody, this is kind of a two-part craft. I'm gonna show you how you can jazz up these two little signs I got from Dollar Tree. So the first thing I did was take off the little metal pot and the flowers. So I Googled how to get um, terracotta color. These two colors did not do it. So I added some orange into it, mixed it with some of this um, caulking from Dollar Tree and got the look I wanted. I'm gonna sand down the metal on the pot first before I start applying the caulking. Um, it just will help it stick better, I hope. <laughs> Once I get all of this finished, I decide to do the same thing with the little um, other little pitcher, yeah. So this time I just mixed the paint right in with the caulking and mixed it up and spread it on the pitcher just like I did with the pot. And then I took these little wooden laser cut pieces from Dollar Tree and pushed them right into the um, containers while they were still wet. And then I took the edge of this little cardboard to make little details to make it look more realistic. And then for the clay pot, I used a larger piece just to separate the top from the bottom. And that worked really well. And then I waited till the next day and um, this is what they look like. So you can just put your pots back on your signs just like this. And I'm just showing you how I put my little fingerprints into the picture just to make it a little more interesting and to give it some more texture. So you could just glue these right back onto your signs, put the flowers back on, and then perhaps add some wording, like rub-on transfers like these to just dress it up a little bit and be done with it. And this is a really cute way to upcycle some already cute signs, but I'm gonna take mine to a new dimension. I'm just gonna use the clay pot. I took off the wooden thing to make the little impression, so cute. And all I'm gonna do is accent the little impression, the little stencil there by using um, a chippy brush and some paint. And I'm using my finger just to get in the little grooves better and just to, so it shows up better. And then I just use my finger all the way around the pot to distress it, followed by some antique wax. I did the same exact thing. I went all the way around it with a chippy brush until it looked old and worn out like it was sitting outside because that's gonna be my intention. Isn't this so cute? So, so stinking cute. I love it. So then I am gonna take this larger canvas. It does have a rip in it. I don't know how that happened, but I'm still gonna use it. And I'm just gonna use some white and blue paint around the edges of the canvas and then brown and white in the middle. And then I just blend it all in and wipe it off with a paper towel just so it's less showy. I just want a little bit of color back there. And this is lavender color tissue paper. I'm just bending it up like an accordion. And then I'm gonna get my canvas again and right in the middle of the canvas, I'm gonna put some Mod Podge because I'm gonna apply the tissue paper to the middle of it. And I want it to be kind of wrinkly and look like um, like a piece of fabric. What it's gonna be is the curtains inside this window. I'm just using scrapbook paper. I cut it into strips. I did not measure anything. I didn't even use a ruler. It's just raw cuts. And now I'm making like little Mediterranean stone. So this is gonna be like a little outside looking in type thing on a Mediterranean cottage. That was the vision I had when I started this. So I'm just doing little brush strokes, all different colors as you can see. And um, I don't have a plan or any kind of pattern. I'm just brushing it on just like you see. And now I'm gonna fill my little flower pot with just some extra greenery I had laying around. And I get it pretty full because that was the vision I had. And then I just put little flower pods on top of that to make it look like blooming flowers. And um, after that, I go back on my bricks or stone and I accent each one of those with some black just so it stands out better. And that was so much fun and so fulfilling and relaxing. 
And now here's the part that I'm not sure about. I had this vision of having this little tree swaying over the window. Um, I'm not sure if I accomplished that or not, but I wanted to put this shading on the pot so it doesn't look like it's just sitting on a piece of paper rather than sitting on a ledge. So here's the finished product. It's the first time I've ever tried anything like this before. So um, I know there's a lot that I need to learn, but it's not bad for my first try. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. And if you feel led, sprinkle it around to your friends and family. And I hope you will come back again soon. I have some more really neat ideas up my sleeve. Have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.